of uh, screenshots that were taken from the actual footage. So this is part of the donation, uh, letting you know you can go in there. There's thousands of photos you can pull from the footage to do. It's amazing. Yes, and then that's the question. Okay. Well, are you saying they the night of the fire? Part of that was knowing that um, throughout the years I've been very lucky to work with uh, uh, a lot of actors and people that, that have been in movies and they cannot use their footage for anything. It was very important that the university is able to access whatever they want in perpetuity to the university. Um, the reason why I was here that day, my children, both my son and my daughter, were uh, right in this parking lot that used to be the St. Mary's Hall over the daycare. So they might have picked them up from daycare, taken them home, and then I heard on the radio there was a fire, so I rushed back. I was the last person they let inside. Um, and they said in or out, so I decided to stay in and um, film everything. Um, and then from that point, um, um, as soon as I got the footage, they wouldn't allow me to leave out, so I had to walk around the entire perimeter of campus in the opposite direction. I had to park over at the um, Pizza Hut, um, but there were every TV station was coming trying to. It wouldn't work with it. And then when there was one TV station about their helicopter, um, they told me to leave. They said they're literally fanning the flames of <laughs> So um, I'm very lucky and honored that this university is so important to me um, and for so many different reasons. When I would, as, as when my kids were little, I would say, picking up my kids from early and late, they're like, how? <laughs> um, so yeah, this means uh, a lot to me that um, Catholic Television and Eric were able to transfer the footage so I could properly uh, donate at the high school. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We're very happy to have these items in our collection. So we have um, the deep gift form here, and there's two copies. So um, you'll also have one to have for your records, and so um, we can. Each sign them and then we'll trade and okay. sign the other ones. I'll say that um, we really thank you for your contributions. But I want everybody to know that when we refer to the fire, it happened in 2008. And we tend to think of it as a tragedy, but actually it was God's providence at work. Because it was then, in 2008, when this fire occurred, that we went digital. So our HR records were all in paper at that time. Our main academic papers were in that building. As Anne said, the uh, communications program was up on the top and many of our photos were lost. And within a week, our finance person, Alan Kloss, had switched us over to a digital world. And because we had lost our academic buildings, the building, our primary one, we went into online education for the first time. And today, online education is about a third of our students access us. And when this virus hit and our colleagues were scrambling all over the country trying to figure out how to educate students, we were ready. We knew how to educate students in a, in a, in a virtual world. Um, and we had built up our infrastructure to the point that although we had never done business operations virtually. Thank you so very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Just my own experience in 2010, in October 13th, I arrived here in San Antonio as Bishop elect. Uh, in order that October 14th in the morning, we're going to have the, uh, the, uh, the announcement at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. And so, I was picked up at the airport by Bishop uh, Cantu, took me to the house when I left. And he said, uh, you can use the room here, and I come to pick you up tomorrow morning before 10 o'clock to go to the pastoral center. So at 10 o'clock at night, right away when I arrived, I turned the TV on, and it was all those kind of images on the screen. I was totally disconnected with San Antonio. I had been 
Previously, one night in San Antonio, I never knew the city, nothing. And I was there, and I said, this is San Antonio, this is happening. I thought, right now? Now, tomorrow is the, my, my, my installation. The only thing I said is, I will pray in tomorrow morning, I will find out where that is, and I will go to the site. There were images, but it was all restored in 2010. <laughs> but what I saw was just that, I turned it off, I said, I need to pray for, for that univer this university. Who was going to say that it was already, but I didn't stay on the news to see the pictures of the beautiful campus. So that was my coming in here. So I connect with you in some way and with the people of San Antonio. That in mind with what you said, what uh, uh, your pictures convey, we thank God, as Ian said, really was divine providence because you are better than with the hope that we are going to become better after the pandemic eventually in the church society. May the Holy Spirit, the source of all purity of heart, communicate it to you in the many ways the Spirit wants to be present in your life. May the Spirit keep your body and your soul pure to see God and may people, your family, your co-workers, and those around you find God through you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>